We're back at Cooper Lake, uh, South Sulphur. We're in site 36 this time, right across from us was where we are before, 11. That's a good site. This site's not so good. It was a pain to back this baby up. Thankfully, the guy at 11 across from us was really nice, and uh, he moved his truck so we can kind of pull up in there, and after almost Austin powering it to get back, we asked him to do that, and then we pulled in there. Prior to though, if you ever come to Cooper Lake and you're coming from from the west, coming to the east, and you're coming east on 71 like we did, um, be warned, definitely check to see if the roads are gonna be flooded, because 71 was flooded, and uh, we had the adventure of having to flip a U-turn in the road. Not fun. No. Last time we were camping, I talked about storage, so. Amber found these on Amazon. They were a pack of four. She has uh, brown and pink, and they fit pretty much perfectly. We kind of we turned them aside, slid them in, and we had to kind of squeeze the top to get them to go down, but they fit very snug. Let's see if I can squeeze in here. Let's see if they fit pretty snug, and they kind of stagger back a little bit. Yeah, they're definitely not going anywhere. And at the top, there's a, uh, you can see right here, and I didn't realize it, there's a brace there. Um, but yeah, we're looking forward to it, especially for the longer trips. Uh, we're definitely going to get plenty of space there, plenty of extra storage as we go up for whatever we need. Here's our setup outside. It's uh, actually Saturday morning now. Try to get it as straight as I could, but like I said, yeah, I had a, had a tough time backing up. So we didn't get a lot of stuff out. Um, you know, we're only here today and then taking off tomorrow, weekend, school year. So actually, you know, we're right here. I mentioned the video was site 11. It's actually site 12 that's across from us. And that's the one we were at before. And it's, uh, we'll stay there in August, but we like how close it is to the water. And you come around, uh, you know, yeah, so that's 12. This is probably 13 here. Check out here, it's pretty muddy. So if it, uh, if you're gonna have a lot of rain, you're gonna have a, some of these sites, it looks like they're gonna get bad unless there's, I'm not quite sure if there's a ton of rain come through or not uh, recently. Um, there's some tent campers up ahead here, they're out. But 14 is a pull through. So that looks kind of nice and you could see yeah, I mean, you'd have a really nice view of the lake. You know, especially the time of year when everything's kind of cleared out. Well, you can see there's a pathway that goes down there, so pretty nice. 15's kind of the same way, plus a little open area. Um, if I can snag a view, I will. All right, come around the corner. Sorry, they were all out. Uh, I think it's a scout troop. So, uh, there's site 16. You can see a little uh, incline here. So your, your front end's probably going to be pretty low, depending on the size of your unit there. Uh, and then, I assume this is 17, same thing. It's kind of on an incline here. And you can see right about there kind of levels out. Um, and then on the opposite side. Yeah, I don't know that number. Let's see. Uh, 22? 32. 32. Okay incline here coming up a little bit as well uh, so kind of like our site it's going to be a little bit uh, higher up in the front on that front jack and yeah, 19 doesn't look too bad with that class a there uh you got some good tree coverage uh approach isn't too bad i guess another pull through here 30 sorry um, what is this, number 20 here? Again, slight little, you know, decline here. Approach really isn't too bad on some of these other ones. I couldn't remember the last time we were here. I think there was a reason why we X'd off certain ones, and I couldn't remember why we X'd off 36, and now I, I think I know. <laughs> Another pull through here. Um. Uh, you're gonna get a lot of sun on these here, I would assume during the day, during the summertime, but these should be all 50 amps through this section here. Uh, what is that one? 21. 
And then this is the thing that was interesting to us. So if you like to buddy up and camp, like these two sites would be really, really cool to have. One may be handicap accessible though. Uh, the one where that travel trailer is might be handicap accessible. I'd have to look. <clears throat> I can't remember, but um, that'd be kind of neat if you're partnering up and wanting to camp close to somebody. So right next to that buddy site, there's your uh, restroom, shower, shelter, whatever you want to call it, right across here. And I mean, that's a nice site right there too. All right, 20, 26. Again, some of these sites look like they're angled downward a little bit. Uh, 25 is looking not too bad. Looks like you might have some flooding underneath there when it uh, when it rains. So I think this is the end of the street here. So if we go to the left, we start going back to our side. If you go to the right, um, takes you back out to the main road coming in. And that's not too bad deep, deep wise. I mean, they definitely have some longer pads on these sites. That's for sure. All right, there's 44. Some of these look like they'd be a lot easier to get into than what I had to do. Yes, there's 43. Looks like he's just a little bit off the back of the pad. Here's some extra parking as you come around. Here's another pull through where the Winnebago is there. A little bit of flooding probably. Obviously it's rained pretty heavy. It's 42. And then right there that trail runner is. Not too bad. I, I can't tell. I think the back end looks like it might be off a little bit, but you can definitely tell. Look at the front. See what I mean about how it's angled? A lot of them are kind of seem like that way. They're going uphill. Oh no, he's still on there. Alright, so definitely interesting. Alright, well. That's a, that's a big guy. <laughs> They're way off the back of that pad. That's, that not, I think it's got to be at least a 42, 45 foot RV. That's huge. So again, you can kind of see how that truck's on an angle. Um, Freemix dress. And, whew, we have that same basket. Okay. Check out where this fifth wheel is here. Looks pretty flat well, we've got a of course they're not extended all the way on the jacks there but yeah I'll check out number nine like look how st steep this is right here and they're pushed way in the back so if you book number nine don't go by the true size <laughs> um, that's pretty far back there so, same thing. Number 10 is kind of high up in the front. That's, I forgot that's one thing we noticed the last time we were here. A lot of the sites are like that. You know, where the front ends had to be jacked up, kind of like where we're at. And I forgot about that, and that was my bad. So, oh, there's actually number 11 right there. That's actually 11. Where the mallard is. It's a nice looking unit. And of course, there's overflow parking, and then we're back over here to our site. One of our other most recent purchases uh, is a dual towel rack holder. These are actually for kitchen towels, but we were trying to find something that was going to go the space here and hold pretty well. Um, so you can see we got that. This way, our little, little hooks, the problem with those is the towels don't dry, so we got these. I'm not planning on using the one that's further back. I think it'll be too heavy. So we're just going to use one, not both of them. Uh, you can see there, there's one, that back one I'm going to be used. But this guy can go right there, and it'll be perfect. All right, so we're on uh, our walk. We're not going to do trails because... Uh, mud. Yeah, mud. and didn't bring boots. I didn't even think about with the rain from the other day. So no trails. We're walking on the road. We're going to go check out the other section. Uh, I think the... The other side is the 30, more of the 30 amps, I think. Where we're in the 50s, so. Whew, good times. Yeah, right there, straight ahead. Found a deer to a goat. I assume anybody can use the dump station 
just not trailers is it i'm sure anybody can dump here Looks like this is this swim area here. So, water's a little too chilly to uh, go into right now. Got a picnic area up by the beach down there, the playground. Well, today was a, a kind of eventful day. I've tried to take a nap a few times and it never worked out. But uh, we walked around, we've met some other campers and talked to them a little bit. And Viola's been playing with their daughters. We've got the chicken that we're not actually using for tonight. Uh, we thought we'd bring it along and cook it because we're never at home. at home really to cook it because the cats will get into it or overcook or whatnot. But we are having quesadillas. Tomorrow we head home though. Tomorrow's a short trip. This is a short trip. We're actually, the next time we go, if you ever watch these, the next time we go, which will be next weekend, uh, we're going to go to Cooper Lake again, but we're going to go to Doctor's Creek, which is the north side of the, the lake, and we're going to be there four nights, so a little bit longer for the holiday weekend. And uh, yeah, we got to get on top of what we're going to make for that trip. <laughs> 